Do you like my pins? They're from Sugar Bones. I love them. Hi, I'm Jilly Dreadful, and if you're here to see the KVD beauty I know that dazzle sticks this is something that some I wish had existed comparison between about face M cosmetics flower beauty or jcat beauty then just keep on watching I was initially interested in the dazzle sticks last year when they came out part of the reason why I didn't get any of them is that you know I just didn't want to get anything that I, would be close to a color I already had and I still couldn't really find a lot of comparisons um, to things that I wanted them compared to like the flower beauty uh, palettes and I just recently got the flower beauty palettes because they were on sale at Ulta last week and I think they were $12. They're usually $17.99 or $19.99. I think they're each priced a little bit differently. And then Honey had a $10 off coupon and Ulta had free shipping with no minimum. So I was able to get those palettes for like $2.59 or $3.59 each. That's pretty spectacular. In terms of the Dazzle Sticks though, I'm really excited about Electra Bolt and Flash Storm but I uh, am a little underwhelmed by the other three. I think the colors in the Flower Beauty palettes are just so much better. They're way more sparkly, they have way more reflect to them, and I like the packaging of this better than these because I feel like I can easily accidentally waste product because they are so soft and they're in a lipstick type of component, and so I might accidentally roll it up too far and then waste all of that product and have it get chunky. These are usually $22 a piece. However, I did get these for $12 a piece because, again, Honey had $10 off coupons, and so I bought each of these for $12 a piece. For $12 a piece, I am not that disappointed. I would not have bought them if they were, if I had to pay $22 a piece for them. And if you're looking for a, a product that is similar, but at a vastly different price point, these uh, J-Cat Beauty Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses, um, these are usually $5.99 at full price. But Ulta always has them on sale, and so you can often get them for $2.99. And that's how I bought all of mine, was when they were on sale. And I have to say, Fiery Bolt is very close to Heat Burst in terms of the undertone of the red. They're more of a blue-based red tone. I think this one has just a tinge bit orange and brown in it. But of all of the different red, cream, sparkly uh, eyeshadows, I tested Heat Burst against this seemed to be the closest one. And it also is the most sparkly. In fact, I think it's a, a little bit more sparkly than the Dazzle Stick itself. And what's also really funny is that the formula feels very similar. This is just a little bit of um, creamier consistency and it's obviously a different packaging but I bet if you put this in a pot component I, I think that it would be almost the same formula so I would not buy heat burst for $22 I would just suggest fiery bolt for $5.99 green flash is a little bit of a different story so the not formula wise they're all they all feel pretty much the same. However, um, it's the color of, of this one. Uh, this is the least sparkly that I found among the Dazzle Sticks. And I have to admit, again, I preferred Anaconda in the Jungle Lights palette by Flower Beauty. Uh, I find that Anaconda just has a more brilliant shine to it. It also just seems more sparkly. I like the gold reflect, 
against the green, the olive green undertone in Anaconda, but at least Green Flash is a little bit more of a forest pine tree green. So it depends on like what kind of green you're going for. But if it's a sparkle and reflect battle, Anaconda wins. And the other thing too that it stands to note is that you get six cream shadows for $5 less at full price than just one cream shadow with the dazzle stick. And all of these other shades are also pretty spectacular. Against the prismatal eye mousses though, even though there is one called Forest Night, it's it's more teal than forest green. So I didn't really think that these were comparable. Although uh, Wicked Dragon is way more sparkly than any of these. I think Anaconda has the most shine, but Wicked Dragon has the most sparkle. Electro Bolt. I am really excited about this one. This is my favorite one of the five. As you and as you can see, I have swatched a heck of a lot of cream shadows that I thought could possibly be close, but they none of them are like Electro Bolt. Electro Bolt is really special. It has a really strong duochrome. It has a really high shine and a high sparkle. It is the kind of shadow that I could just tap all over the lid by itself. Or it can be a, an eye topper. I mean, I really love that versatility with it. And that, it, that it's not just an eye topper or it's not just a one and done sort of eyeshadow. Uh, it's so pretty and oh, I'm so excited about this one. And truth be told, I kind of wish I had only gotten this one because even though I, I bought all five you know, for $12, that's still like 60 bucks um, to make this video. And I kind of wish I had just gotten Electro Bolt. But the silver lining in this Dazzle Stick Rain Cloud though is that I did get them for $12 and they were, it was while I also had like five times the points. So this was like 300 points at Ulta, and then that put me over the top for uh, 2,000 reward points at Ulta, which uh, cashes out to $125 of like free product that you can buy from Ulta. And I used that to, oh, I can show you. Um, the Urban Decay Naked palette, the Anastasia Rose Metals palette, and the Anastasia Nouveau palette and I wanted to make videos about these since I'm doing 30 days of videos. Flash Storm. Uh, as you'll see at the end, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it in the video, but that is what I have all over my eyes. I do have Electro Bolt in the inner portion of my eye. But Flash Storm is my other favorite. Uh, I don't like it necessarily as much as Electro Bolt uh, because taupey, uh, sparkly eyeshadows are pretty common. You can find you can find them pretty easily. What's special about this one is the level of sparkle. It's a rainbow sparkle to it, and it so that's really unique and cool. And also, what I like about it is that it can be blended out, and you know when you do that, it sort of dulls the shine but you can then tap a little bit more on with your finger and it recharges the sparkle and shine and it's really pretty. I don't regret buying this one uh, you know, for $12. I kind of regret the first two and Hail Surge, but we'll get to Hail Surge in a second. And as you can see from the swatches, I don't really have anything like Flash Storm. Uh, I have things that maybe give you a similar vibe, but it, you know, there's not an exact dupe. And I think that is in thanks to the level of sparkle and the color of the sparkle that it has. And so I am really excited about that one too. Hail Surge. I remember watching Lauren May Beauty's video on Dazzle Sticks and, you know, cause she's like included them in different videos over the last year or year and a half. And she's always sort of regretted Hail Surge. 
but I figured for the sake of this video and for completionist sake for the video, I was gonna, you know, get all five since I did have a honey coupon for each one and, you know, so I was able to get them for each for $12. I know I keep reiterating that I got these for $12. I'm not trying to rub it in. I'm just like trying to decide what is worth the $22 Electra Bolt is, what's worth $12 Flash Storm is, and what do I regret buying even for $12? And I regret buying three of the five. Yes, I could return them but then they would be junked because they've been used. And then so like I have guilt about the waste aspect of it. I haven't decided what to do. So Hail Surge, as you can see from the swatches, the uh, Hail Surge is, it's still unique, but it's not unique enough in my mind to warrant owning it. The thing about Hail Surge is that I do have, a, you know, a number of different cream shadows that are kind of like similar in the vibe, but they're not straight on dupes for them. The thing that makes Hail Surge special is sort of the, the rainbow aspect of the glitter particles that are in it. I wish it was more sparkly, like Electra Bolt, I, and to be completely honest, I wish there was more of a duochrome flip to each of the colors. I'm kind of shocked that there isn't. It's pretty, but I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of it, which is again why I'm like, hmm, what should I do? Should I return it or not? Wow, that kind of sounds like a Ripley's thing, huh? <laughs> a Ripley's consumer report return it or not, like believe it or not. I don't know what else to really say about it. It's a champagne color, it has the rainbow sparkle. I'm not sure the rainbow sparkle warrants its existence in my in my house. If you wanted something similar for a fraction of the cost, I'd say Chrome Galaxy from JCat Beauty for $5.99 is a really beautiful substitute for Hail Surge. Ooh, okay, so to quickly recap, Heat Burst Dazzle Stick, I'm not sure is worth $22 or even $12 with a honey coupon. I would suggest if you're interested in this color, Fiery Bolt from JCat Beauty. The tones are very similar. This has way more sparkle to it. It's not necessarily um, a pink fuchsia sparkle, but the undertone of the red is very very similar and both beautiful on their own. I think these were the most, the I think these were the closest colored uh, dupes that I found. And when it comes to $22 versus $5.99, I'm gonna say JCat wins. An alternative is, you know, one of the Flower Beauty palettes because you get six colors for like $17.99, which is, you know, four or five dollars cheaper than a dazzle stick. And you can either get one that has, you know, a lot of different tones, or you can get like a bunch of rosy tones. Green flash. If the pine forest green is really important to you, I can't necessarily find anything in my own stash of things that is, are similar. And I don't necessarily know of things that exist in cream shadow form that I don't own that are necessarily similar. But if the pine forest green isn't that necessarily that important to you and you can stand an olive with a beautiful golden reflect that sort of lends itself to a duochrome aspect, then the Jungle Lights palette from Flower Beauty is a wonderful substitution. And I would highly recommend this over this. So again, $17.99 versus $22. And you know, you might even be able to get it for $10 off. So then you know, it's like $7.99. Because it's not on sale anymore at Ulta, so it's not like $12.59 right now. But anyway, 
Electro Bolt. This is worth it even at $22, and I can't find anything remotely similar. In a cream shadow form. I know that like in the Zodiac palette, I used to own the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, and I think it was an Aquarius shade, or maybe Capricorn, I can't remember exactly. There was a color that was similar. It was a baked powder formula, though, but I don't know of anything in a cream formula that's close. Blush Storm. At $22, I'm not necessarily sure it's worth it. I think I still might suggest Jungle Lights over Flash Storm, but for $12, the uniqueness, I feel like, is worth it. But you still get six over here for like five dollars more. It's up to you. Okay, Hail Surge. It is pretty. It's not necessarily my vibe. I'm gonna try it out though. You know, like all over on its own. Maybe it could be my vibe. I don't know. I haven't tried it out on its own. I literally just got these in the mail and so making this video because this is day four of uh, my 30 days of videos on my channel. I don't have anything that's exactly like it, so it is unique in that aspect, but I mean, I do think Chrome Galaxy from JCat Beauty is equally as beautiful. It's very similar. The tones are very similar in terms of like the champagne aspect. It's just, they do different things. This is more uh, shiny and sparkly. Whereas this just has the glitter in it, not plastic glitter though. And you know, and it's rainbow glitter, it's rainbow sparkle. And this is more of a champagne sparkle. So it depends on what you're looking for in that respect. But in my opinion, $22 versus $5.99, JCat wins. So I hope the comparison swatches were helpful. I know that this is something that I wish had existed when I was initially interested in the Dazzle Sticks last year. Okay, so that is going to do it for me. I hope that this video was helpful, and I will see you in my next one, which is tomorrow. Okay, bye. And if you, I almost forgot to say, if you made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me, and you get the extra added bonus. And now, back to past Jilly. Real quick though, like, did anyone see my video from yesterday? What a difference lighting and a camera makes, huh? Because I look way better today than I did in yesterday's video. Okay, <laughs> okay, bye. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamed of by men. Believe it or not,